One day before ma-implement ang MECQ sa NCR at Cavite, tingnan po natin ang sitwasyon sa Cavite at sa Manila ngayong August 3, 2020. Mula sa paglabas namin sa aming tahanan sa Cavite, nakita namin na napakaraming tao sa labas o sa kalsada, mapanaglalakad man o kaya sa sakyan, masikip ang daloy na sa sakyan, uh, simula pa lang po bago kami lumabas sa aming lugar sa Cavite at bago kami makarating sa Cavitex. This August 3, 2020, meron na po akong prior commitment sa Manila so I really cannot cancel it because there's no other day and I have limited time here sa Pilipinas. So I have to go sa Manila from Cavite kahit po one day before MECQ which usually uh, I'd rather stay talaga sa bahay. But anyway, ito po since lalabas na rin ako, dalhan ko na rin kayo ng balita up update ano po bang nangyayari sa kapaligiran natin. Welcome to Jamie Iris TV channel para sa pang-araw-araw na helpful at relevant information na makakatulong sa inyo bilang Pinoy, OFWs, mga balikbayan at mga Pinoy or travelers na naninirahan sa ibang bansa na nais ma-update sa kaganapan dito sa Pilipinas, inaanyayahan ko kayo, please subscribe to my channel and please click that button so that every time I have a new video, ay ma-update kayo at malalaman ninyo. One day before <laughs> MECQ po, so we're traveling from Cavite to Manila. So yan, ang daming mga sasakyan. Nasa May, ano pa may, uh, ano pa to? Cavitex pa? I mean, ano, 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 ano to? Cavitex. Cavitex, yan. So ang daming sasakyan, traffic talaga. Tsaka ang daming tao. Uh, siguro po kasi nga uh, MECQ na tomorrow, so lahat kaya stay home. <laughs> stay safe. Kaya lahat ay naglalabasan. Who <laughs> done with the tall gate? Now we're on our way to Manila. So, as we go to Manila, tiningnan din po namin yung other side of the road. Kung makikita ninyo, napaka-heavy ng flow ng traffic on the other side. Ang haba din ng pila ng mga sasakyan. At syempre, since I have to attend this prior meeting that I have somewhere near in Mall of Asia, I need to be ready. I mean, when it comes to the minimum health standards required from us from the government, we have to ensure na suot namin ang mask and syempre may extra pa kami na face shield. At sinigurado namin na lahat kami ay well equipped against COVID-19 virus. Aside from my mother, kasama ko din ang aking youngest brother. He has someone to meet sa Mall of Asia for certain related uh, business of his. But anyway, bago kami makalabas, actually sa Cavite, we have to request for barangay clearance, for medical certificate, at meron pang travel pass. I'll feature that on my other vlog para at least aware kayo just in case you want to travel using transportation. But then again, it's during quarantine time. Kutum na talaga kami. It's almost 12 noon at we really need to have lunch. So, para makaiwas din sa exposure, so nag-drive through na lang po kami instead of dining in sa restaurant for our lunch. Kakaibig din talaga itong uh, new normal na ito caused by the pandemic. Pero sabi nga, imbis na mainis tayo, mas maganda na we think of ways on how we can work around this. So for us, uh, as much as possible, iwas muna kami sa exposure. So drive through muna. Original. 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 Original.
then light to my night time as well. Mix it up to a shop and then cook. No light in drinks or red wine. You cook more light or small? Large night. Large night. And then, dalawang two pieces chicken. Dalawang two pieces chicken. Thai part. Thai part and legs. Ako ta... Ako Thai part. Oh, hold on. Pwede kong parang Thai part. Pwede kong parang Thai part. Parang Thai part. Ako pwede kong... Ako original tsaka spicy kahit ano ba sa Thai part. Masa ka? Thai part. Bali dalawang... We satisfied the man sa order namin from Jollibee. At dito na po namin kinain yun sa sasakyan. So we just parked nearby and then we just ate our order and ate half our lunch para po hindi na po kami pumunta sa restaurant at less exposure din po sa possible na harm na maaaring magawa ng COVID. Although of course may PPE kami. So I think that's the wisest thing to do for us. And then we're on our way to Mall of Asia. So we dropped first my uncle. And then pagkatapos nun, uh, ang kapatid ko naman po. Ito po ang hypermarket. Just take a look. Uh, mga 12 o'clock pa lang po ito ng uh, tanghali. Pero ang daming tao. Ang haba ng pila. Nako po. Ano kaya mamaya? Pupunta kami mamaya dyan. Anyway, so we will drop, be dropping off our bro my brother kasi uh, may kamiting siya. And then babalik na lang po kami and we'll meet him later before we go home. So si brother, <laughs> naka full, uh, full PPE din naman po siya. So yun, on our way na to my meeting. Well, I'm just so glad that our meeting venue ko is just near Mall of Asia. So I'm quite early for the meeting which is great. At least I can sit back, relax and wait until our meeting starts. So I just had my mom with me and then she'll assist me with some of the things. So yay! And before my meeting, of course, I have to make sure that I'm well protected. So I do have my basic PPE. I have my mask. And of course, I have my eyeglasses. But more than that, of course, I have to be better prepared. So I wear my, I also wear my face shield. Well, my meeting took more than three hours, but it was very productive. I'm so happy. Kaya, okay na rin siya. Worth it naman ang pagluwas ko one day before the MECQ. So, after the meeting, so it's about time to relax a bit. I took my mom around the venue and then we went to the department store para naman at makabili kami ng basic bago mag MECQ. And then hypermarket later, yun ang plan namin ni mommy. Hi everyone, I'm here in the department store kasi may meeting ako but as I am looking, um, pagpasok ko dito, uh, the people in this area, ganang kadami. Yeah. Yeah, that's my mommy. <laughs> my mom. That's my mom. Yeah. Uh, but then again, if you will take a look at the department store, hindi siya ganang kadami. Uh, this is the uh, August 3, so day before uh, MECQ. Uh, papunta kami sa grocery. Uh, I'm just thinking maybe maraming tao doon. So, uh, because again, hindi makakalabas ang marami uh, for the next few days. So, let us just take a look. Ganun ba talaga kadami sa grocery? Katulad ng sabi ng mga kapatid ko. So, let's see. <laughs> That's my brother. Say hi. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> Pete. That way. Dito, di ba? So, makikita nyo, may mga tao, but it's not that much. Of course, the sales lady. Hi there. My mommy. She's there. But it's not as crowded as it usually is. So, yun yung na-notice ko lang. So, let's take a look. Hahaha. Buti na lang, uh, we were given at least one day to prepare before the MECQ, so that's at least makakapag-prepare ang bawat isa. And ako kasi rin yung nakaschedule talaga from meeting for today, so here in Manila. So I'm so glad at least uh, bago mag-MECQ, uh, meron at least one day in Carabao. <laughs> so I'm just waiting for my mom. Ay, 
lang ah. <laughs> so the store, uh, the store cannot be taken out from the uh, department store. So we are, uh, we are at Mall of Asia. So wala rin sa talagang ganang tao. Nakakapanibago. <laughs> Although may mga open naman ng mga restaurants. Pero konti lang talaga yung tao. Yan, so from department store, uh, lakad na magkami pa punta kami hypermarket. So, we will try na punta sa grocery. And then let's see what we can buy. Now we're inside the me um, yung middle ng mawa. Usually, dami tao dito. Pero ngayon, ah, uh, I'll show you. <laughs> Wala ka tao, tao. This simply shows that most of the people, uh, they chose to stay at home, so which is good or maari yung iba dahil maari maapekto ang transportation, so hindi na po sila um, pumunta ngayon dito, especially ang public transportation ang maapektohan. Meron nga po ako nakausap na isa sa mga sales lady a while ago at namumroblema siya, sabi niya, paano kaya kami tomorrow kasi uh, may pasok kami. Sabi ko, kahit MECQ, sabi niyo, oh ma, meron po. Kaya Kaya lang, ma'am, hindi namin alam. Hindi ko po alam kung paano ako papasok at uuwi. So, I think transportation is really a big concern. I hope they will do something about it to help also people who are working at they are using public transportation. But it's good din naman kasi at least hindi siya crowded. Pansin, pansin din naman ang responsible response ng mga different uh, stores here in Mall of Asia na they do have chairs uh, na kumbaga it's also like distance from one another observing the physical distance that is required. Nakita ko siya sa Watson's tapos kaninang umaga nakita ko rin siya sa may hypermarket so napakaganda naman nun kasi at least if you will be I mean um, one of the customers alam mo na inoobserve nila yung physical distancing. Dito, dito. Ay, kamatet. <laughs> so, punta na kami. Sana wala na ako. Walang pila! Yay! 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 Happy to serve! Happy to serve! Yay! 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 Ha ha ha. 
So we have to back out for from uh, that area of the grocery because it's a lot of people who have a Ganito kahaba yung pila kahapon sa isang cubicle aisle na papunta doon sa isang cashier for payment. Eh meron pa naman akong gustong binin dito sa aisle na to. Kaya lang, super dami po yung tao. Siyempre, para ma-prevent ko na rin po, uh, of course, ayoko po yung possible crowded crowded uh, spaces kasi nga po social distancing. So hindi na lang po ako pumunta sa uh, aisle na yon at I just tried na uh, bumili na lang sa ibang aisle or bumili ng ibang item. Finally, I found my mom. Oof, ang haba talaga ng pila. Buti na lang nakapila na si mommy dito sa Prestige Lane. So, at least, uh, hindi siya kasing haba nung uh, ibang mga lane niya. But then again, oh my. So, yan. Uh, hi, everyone. <laughs> mommy is taking uh, the video. <laughs> So she wants to show you gaano kadami at kahaba ang pila. Talagang ang haba plus yung binibili ng bawat isa hindi lang basket talaga. Most of the time na carts sila talagang dami. Well, one good thing at least uh, Filipinos know how to save for the rainy day then in terms ng alam ng MECQ. So, ayan nagre-ready na ang bawat isa. And uh, nakikita naman po natin sa mga Filipino na talagang ino-observe ang basic health minimum standards when it comes to wearing masks at social distancing. And that's me. So while mom is taking our video, I'm making it a point na nag-update na ako ng vlogs ko. And as you can see, ang haba ng line, hindi po ba? So everybody really is uh, preparing for the MECQ. And uh, yun din naman maganda sa atin para ready na tayo at we can really say we stay at home, we stay safe and we keep everyone else as safe. So walang kasaway kasi at least you know mananatili sa bahay. It really has been a very long day at napakahaba ng pila and alay, I believe yung pagod na nararamdaman ng bawat isa ang paako ang sakit na rin. almost an hour na kami nakapila ni mommy uh, dito hoping malapit na kami so konti na lang at least two more carts it's our turn na rin. Yes, it's finally our turn. So, we're almost there at makakabayad na kami and makaka na. So, Hi, salamat. Because <laughs> it's still, you know, uh, almost an hour going to Cavite. But then, much to our surprise, nung nakauwi na kami, super traffic naman papunta ng Cavite. It took us like uh, th almost 3 hours na supposed to be usually 45 minutes lang. So, ganyan ka-heavy po yung traffic. Nakatulog na po ako. Pagdilat ko, andun pa rin kami. Papunta pa lang sa toll gate ng Cavitex. But we're on our way na. So, everyone, as we go home, uh, stay safe and stay at home. And uh, let's do our best to contribute para at least ma-minimize at ma-control at ma-lessen na ang paglaganap ng COVID virus. So with that everyone, uh, God bless and stay safe. So once again, before we end today, I want to invite you to please subscribe to my channel so that you can get updated for helpful and relevant information that I will share through my videos. And for those who had subscribed, maraming maraming salamat po! <laughs> This is Jimmy Iris saying, stay safe everyone, stay healthy, and always stay positive. God bless you and see you in my next video.